Welcome to another video. Today I am going to show you the upgradability of the Dell G3 3590. I'll also replace the thermal base of the laptop in this video. First, unscrew the screws holding the back panel. Then use a pry tool to pry the back panel of the laptop. Next, I'll unplug the battery. Next, I'll remove the 2.5 inch hard drive tray by unscrewing 3 screws and unplugging the flex cable for the SATA drive. The flex cable is latched on the main board, so don't pull it. You can unplug the SATA connector by carefully pulling it away from the hard drive. And there's the SATA connector. I forgot to show you how to remove the hard drive from the tray, but you simply unscrew the screws on the side of the drive to remove the hard drive from the tray. Then on your new SATA hard drive or SSD, you can simply plug the SATA connector again. Side note, when handling computer parts, always hold them on the sides and avoid holding the face of the PCB. Next is the M.2 NVMe SSD. Simply unscrew the screw holding the copper heatsink and the SSD. Then remove the heatsink. Now the SSD is free, you can unplug it. The size of the stock SSD is 2230. If you are upgrading your SSD to size 2280, the installation procedure is slightly different. I'll make another video for that and I'll be linking the video in the description. There's the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module but I'm not upgrading it so I'll leave it there. Next is the RAM. The laptop has two RAM slots. To install the RAM module, simply plug the RAM module at a 45 degree angle and make sure the gold pins are inserted into the socket. Then, press the RAM module down until it clicks or locks into the slot. To remove a RAM module, simply pry the two clips on the side by pushing them away from the RAM module. And the RAM module would lift up, so you can remove it. Now, I'll just put the RAM stick back. Now, I'll reinstall the M.2 SSD. Again, simply plug the SSD at a 45 degree angle and make sure the gold pins are fully inserted into the socket. Then, put the copper heatsink on the SSD and screw it in. Now, I'll reinstall the SATA hard drive. Simply drop the drive into the slot and screw it in. Then, plug the SATA flex cable to the main board. Make sure the black line on the cable aligns at the edge of the slot. Then, latch the cable on the slot. Next, I'll be replacing the thermal paste on the CPU and GPU. I'll simply unscrew the screws holding the heatsink. And since the heatsink has numbers labeled in each screws, I'll be unscrewing it in descending order. Then, I'll unscrew the fans too. Next, I'll unplug the fans. I can now remove the fans and the heatsink. The heatsink is stuck in there since the thermal paste had already dried up. Now I'll pause the recording to clean the old thermal paste and apply a new one. Now that I have removed the old thermal paste and applied a new one, I will now install the fan first. And then I'll put the heatsink on the laptop. When screwing the heatsink, I'll follow the numbers but I'll screw them in ascending order. Finally, plug the fans and the battery to the main board. Before putting back the back panel of the laptop, I'll try to turn it on and test if it boots up. I have tested the laptop off camera, so now I will install the back panel. Now I'll just turn on the laptop. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos.